This is Karina, and I'm joined by Andrew who's going to be telling us about the NetDog 82BW, a new RTU from DPS Telecom. So Andrew, tell us why this NetDog is so special. Hi Karina. The new technologies we've got wrapped up in this new NetDog are pretty exciting. First of all, this NetDog is equipped with battery backup power, around 10 hours worth. If you've ever had equipment fail because of an outage, you know how important it is to have a backup power source. The NetDog 82PW also has a wireless option that you can use to your advantage in a couple ways. If you don't have LAN at all your sites, the NetDog can report alarms over your wireless network using GPRS or CDMA. And even if you do have LAN, wireless makes a great alternate reporting path in case LAN ever fails. The last bit of R&D we've tied into the NetDog is solar power to charge the internal batteries. And when you combine all three of these technologies into one durable SNMP RTU, we're talking about a remote that can handle just about anything. Okay, so the NetDog BW can keep running even during LAN and power failures. So what kind of alarm capacity are we talking here? This RTU has everything you'd expect from a NetDog, plus a few other things. It's got eight discrete alarm inputs, which you can wire up here on the front with these screw lug terminals. It also has two to four analog inputs for monitoring temperature. If you go with the four analog option, two of them will monitor internal and external temperature, and the other two are general purpose to use however you like. And of course, it's got 32 ping alarms, which you can set up to notify you if any of your equipment goes offline. The NetDog will ping those 32 devices repeatedly at the interval you select to make sure they're still responding. And how does the NetDog BW monitor temperature? Well, as I mentioned, this NetDog comes equipped to monitor internal temperature, and you have the option of adding an external temperature probe to measure the temperature of a specific device. So having analog temperature sensing means that you'll get an accurate reading of critical environmental levels at your site. If your analog readings come back too hot or too cold, you know there's a problem. And here on the front is where you plug in an external temperature probe, just like this one. You just plug the sensor into the NetDog, and then put the sensor in next to a critical piece of equipment you want to monitor. Monitoring temperature is very important because it can make all the difference in preventing an outage, fire, or other huge expense. Can you give us some more details on the NetDog's battery power? How long does it take for the internal batteries to be fully charged? Well, I brought a few slides that illustrate the battery run time and charge time. You can order your NetDog with either one or two two and a half amp batteries. If you go with the two battery option, you can get approximately 10 hours of battery backup power with just a four hour charge. The batteries are also really easy to connect and replace. Here, I'll show you. You just have to undo a few screws to get access to the batteries. There's one there, another one there. This cover comes off very easily, and here you have the batteries. And you'll see, I can make this connection which would almost always be connected in the field, but I've kept it unconnected here so the batteries don't wear out. Plug that in. You can see the unit's turned on. We've got LEDs, and it's booting up. So now we're running on battery power. So you said the NetDog 82BW is also equipped with solar panel capabilities. Is this how the batteries get charged? Yeah, that's one option. You just install solar panels on top of a building, and the lead from the panels will feed into the NetDog, charging the batteries. You can also charge the batteries by plugging the unit into your site's DC power. Okay, so now we know all about the battery backup power. How does the wireless alarm reporting work on this NetDog? I've got another slide here to help me with that. This topology drawing shows how the NetDog BW uses your wireless network and service provider to access the internet. From there, the alarms are sent to your SNMP manager, possibly Team on Knock. The NetDog can even forward alarms to multiple SNMP managers simultaneously. So Andrew, you told us all about the battery backup power, the wireless option, and also the solar power. But what if I only need the battery power, for example? Can I order the NetDog however I like? Certainly. DPS is all about perfect fit customization. So if you want just the battery and the solar power, and not the wireless, or any other combination of technologies, we can definitely make that work. The NetDog started out without either battery, wireless, or solar power, and that original model is also available if you don't need those extra technologies and want to keep your costs down. It's a smaller unit as well because it doesn't have to house any batteries. This customizability is true for pretty much all DPS products. Your networks and remote sites are all unique, and because we handle everything in-house at DPS, we have the unique ability to deliver customized products in small batches. 
So if I want to customize my NetDog or other DPS product, that means I should expect to wait at least a few months for my finished product, right? No, not at all. You know, that's probably true with most other vendors, but not DPS. Our engineers are customization experts. They frequently finish products in a matter of weeks. Another popular myth that you've probably heard is you have to buy hundreds of units in order for us to build you a custom product. With a typical minimum order of just 11 units, you don't have to buy huge quantities to get the product you want. Okay, one last question, Andrew. How do you know which technologies you can add to a custom project? I'm glad you asked that. There's a new area of the DPS website where you can see the new technologies we're working with and tell us what you'd like to see next. To see what's in our engineering team's toolbox, go to DPS Labs at www.dpstelly.com labs. I think you'll be excited by what you find there. We made it easier for you to send a message to the DPS engineers. You can ask a question or make a request. Just by visiting DPS Labs and sharing your thoughts, you can affect the next products to come out of the engineering department. Thanks so much for joining me, Andrew. And there you have it. If you're looking for an independent RTU that can withstand just about any network or power failure, check out the NetDog 82BW. For more information on this product, call the experts at DPS at 1-800-693-0351. And don't forget to check out DPS Labs for a peek at DPS Telecom R&D.